These are the top strategy games announced for 2022. I'll also have some honorable mentions laced in throughout. Why not like and subscribe? If you want to, I would really appreciate your support. But what I would like to do more is show you my top strategy games for 2022. And the first one you're looking at here is Victoria 3, coming out of Paradox. I'm going to show you screenshots where cinematic footage simply won't do for all of these games so that you can get a little bit more detail as well. Victoria 3, as I've said, comes out of Paradox Interactive, the wonderful studio behind Stellaris and Hearts of Iron and Europa Universalis. And crucially, that's going to be the closest game to this one. Victoria 3 really does rightfully hold the title of grand strategy. It is deep, it is complex, and it is set in an ideal society in a tumultuous and exciting 19th century. Go figure with the name Victoria. It is a grand strategy game with some complex simulation, economic management, and of course what you can see here, politics and law, institutions, trade, combat, you name it. This is the pinnacle grand strategy. Think Hearts of Iron 4 if you've played that, but applied to 19th century Victorian ages. Very much looking forward to delving into this one and spending days staring at it. I should just note it is the only game on this list that hasn't quite had its release date yet announced, hopefully 2022. My first honourable mention goes to Civilization 6, but maybe Civilization 7. The reason why I'm quickly putting this in here is because we haven't heard anything out of Sid Meier or Firaxis on what they plan to do with Civ next. Civilization VI received the New Frontier Pass, which started releasing actually in 2020. And while it finished in 2021, we haven't heard or seen anything else from them. I do suspect Civilization VII to be on the horizon, given that Civilization VI has been out now for six whole years. Or we could maybe see a little bit more love to 5 and 6, but I really doubt that. I expect us to, at the very least, in 2022, see some sort of teaser, trailer, or announcement for Sid Meier's Civilization 7, but again, nothing confirmed. My second confirmed proper pick for 2022 is this. Falling Frontier. I've covered it in full on my channel if you'd like to check out this glorious space gameplay in a little bit more detail. Personally, I actually think this might just be my hidden gem pick for 2022. We'll have to see how the year plays out, of course, but take a look at this. It is smooth. It is a real-time space strategy game. Its animations are incredible. You'll see some footage in a minute of its shipbuilding mechanics as well. But right now, even if you just look at the purely, some might even say, a little boring logistics menu, you can see it's a beautiful game. Triggers and customization around little things like your ships and how they fuel up, or larger things like spaceports in newly colonized worlds. Much like Stellaris, this game, Falling Frontier, published by Hooded Horse, by the way, the same publishers behind Old World, which is also getting a Steam release this year. A fun little shout out. I've got some massive talent behind them, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how Falling Frontier's plays out. Take a look at this, another element of the game. Put that wonderful procedurally generated exploration aside and build some glorious ships. There's weaponry, there's everything you could want in Falling Frontier. As I say, it's published by Hooded Horse, developed by Stutterfox Studios. It's got base building, simulation, management and strategy all dropped into a glorious sci-fi RTS setting. I actually can't wait for this one when it releases in quarter two. Speaking of releasing, but actually in quarter one, my next honourable mention goes to Crusader Kings 3 Royal Court DLC. This is not a huge game, but it is a significant DLC expansion for CK3, which is yet to see anything outside of the smaller Northern Lords DLC, and as IGN rightly put it, it finally gives us a place to sit, sitting in your courtroom, and all of the intrigue that goes with it. Speaking of intrigue, this one's intriguing, and a lot of you are looking forward to it as well. I ran a poll on my channel, and many of you said that this game, my next one, my next big release for 2022, it is of course, in case you haven't realised yet, the latest edition in the Total War franchise. It's Total War Warhammer 3. It is pegged for release on the 17th of February 2022, so you actually don't have to wait too long to get your hands on this one. We're literally talking, for most of you when you're watching this, probably next month. 
Like its predecessors, it is a turn-based, real-time tactics strategy game coming out of, of course, Sega's widely appreciated legacy series, Total War. Here you're seeing some cinematic footage of but one fight in this fantasy world. This is of course uh, set in a fantasy setting, unlike some of the other games I've already covered in this video that have launched themselves into the stars or favoured history. Speaking of favoured history, my next honourable mention goes to Humankind. It released in 2022 and has seen significant and steady improvements since its release, both in reviews and from support from Amplitude Studios. And in January of 2022, they are hosting their Amplified event, where we will likely hear more from Humankind. 2022 is going to be a big year for Humankind, I suspect, and I'm very much looking forward to playing that more, obviously. <laughs> my next big game for 2022 is Dune Spice Wars. Here you can see the trailer. I'll show you some screenshots overlaid as we go through it. Dune Spice Wars is, of course, based off that wonderful Dune setting, that whole franchise that's been around for some 50 years in forms of books and films and, of course, video games like this one developed by Shidor Games. The same developers behind Banished, by the way, if you've played that. Dune Spice Wars is a real-time strategy game with 4X elements, essentially, of course, set in the ground-breaking Dune universe, where you're battling for control and dominance over the harsh desert planet. This one looks very smooth. We're yet to see a lot of actual gameplay, though. Here you can see a, a wonderful cinematic trailer, of course, of sand in my hand. But apart from uh, really this screenshot with a lot of detail, we haven't seen much. I'll be keeping my eye out for this one, pegged for the release sometime in 2022. Speaking of 2022, of course, in quarter two, my next honorable mention goes to Terra Invictus. I actually posted a video fully on this uh, just the other day on my channel, so if you want to hear more, do check it out. What you need to know is basically this is a space geopolitical simulation strategy game that also focuses heavily on Earth and the politics of Earth. So if you're keen to venture out into space, but also play a somewhat more grounded and, and even though it's a bad word to use here, realistic experience, then you might want to check out Terra Invictus from published by Hooded Horse. And of course, it wouldn't be a 2022 synopsis of the wonderful strategy games if I didn't cast my attention to this. Company of Heroes 3. Company of Heroes 3 is a really fascinating one for me. It's published by Sega. Of course, the same publishing studio that brings us mighty games like Humankind or the Total War series. And it's developed by Relic Entertainment. Again, a studio with a lot of expertise behind them. We've seen this glorious cinematic trailer. I'm going to show you now also some screenshots over the top so you can get a little bit of a feel for what the game might actually look like in a somewhat more realistic setting. Well, unfortunately, we haven't seen a lot. However, here they go. You can see some little shots. Anyway, Company of Heroes 3 hasn't quite yet has it. it official release date published. However, we do expect it to come out in 2022, so I'm choosing to include it here again, just like Victoria 3. Essentially, Company of Heroes 3 is a single player with also some online PvP strategy game really focusing around war, of course, as you can tell, right? It's a war game with some more action real-time strategy PvP tactics implied. So it's a little bit different from the rest of the games here where maybe there's been more of an emphasis on exploration or potentially on maybe also building an empire. Now of course Company of Heroes 3 is still a strategy game so you'll still be doing it. Where are you set? Well it's in a quote stunning Mediterranean theater of war. And to be honest looking at some of the screenshots and cinematics for whatever they can tell us I tend to agree. Other things that you might want to know about Company of Heroes 3 is that it aims to deliver the next generation of tactical gameplay. Whether we'll see those tactics play out, of course, is yet to be seen because we haven't actually seen the gameplay. It is, of course, set in that beautiful Mediterranean setting. We've been told that there's going to be a lot of mountainous maps that will require different strategies, separating coastal towns and also incorporating, of course, those line of sight elements that help to build more of a tactical gameplay experience in Company of Heroes 3. 
Thank you very much for watching. These have been my strategy games to watch for 2022. The big confirmed releases and also some slightly more speculative honorable mentions throughout from Humankind, Civilization, Company of Heroes and a wonderful litany of space games 2022 looks to be even better than 2021. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.